Hey guys, in this boolean or boolean, however you want to pronounce it, tutorial, we're going to talk about union. And this is simple. I think we've went over this in our joining geometry video, but union is a boolean and I want to include it in our boolean series, so we'll just go ahead and knock it out of the way before we move on to anything else. Okay? So let's go ahead and set everything up. Let's put our two cube, our cube and our cylinder or our two separate meshes. I want to put them on separate layers. Okay, because you know how by now you all should know how Boolean works. So I'm going to put my cube on top. I have my cube, my um, cylinder. Let's go ahead and rename this. So I have my cylinder on bottom and my cube on top. Just like always. So this time when we go to Mesh Edit, Boolean, we're going to say, so instead of subtract, we're going to say union. We say okay. And now we get this, and it throws them together into one mesh, and it's kind of union. You know, it, it pretty much does what it says. It joins them together, or as you like to say, union. So let's delete our original. Now we have this. If I hit tab, it kind of folds up on itself. So let's go ahead and start cutting this up with, with the C key. So I'm going to start here and go to here. I'm going to take this one to the corner. Hold my shift key to start anew. Take this to the corner. I'm going to breeze through this pretty quick because this is fairly simple. I think we've went over it before, but it's just like a refresher. Okay, now we need to start on these other ones. We'll split it to the middle and go right around like this. Turn off split in the middle and connect it up right there. Now let's do it one last time right here. As I say, this is just kind of a refresher course. I want to get it in the Boolean series before we move on to other things like stencil and stuff. Let's go ahead and get this one out of the way because it is Boolean, so we might as well go ahead and include it in our Boolean series. So now, as you can see, we've cut everything up, and our geometry is flowing nicely. Okay, you can see it goes through. We've got some nice flow here. Let's go ahead and run some loop slices. Alt C in the direction we want to run it and let's put it right there like that. Let's go ahead and run one around up the top here. Let's go ahead and run another one around the bottom. Like so. And now as you can see these two pieces of geometry are joined and we can clean this up naturally if we want to go in. We can there's several things we can do here. We can loop these top polygons, hit the B key, make sure group polygons is selected, and we can bevel this in like this. Or we could have just used our C key to cut around manually. Okay, and if I hit tab, you see now that that's holding there. We've got a real nice join. Okay. And is there anything else? Yes, of course, we could tighten up our edges in many ways. But I don't know if I want to put you guys through to tighten it. Well, I guess we might as well, hadn't we? So let's go to my edge mode. I'm going to remove that edge there that was created by our bevel. I'm going to hit Shift C and let's go in here and create our own. Like so. Let's go to our vert mode. Let's go in here close. And let's join these puppies up, as you can see here. Here to here. Here to here. Let's do this side now. We'll say, we'll take... Eh, how we, which way we want to join these. Let's take this to this. And this to this. Same way down here. Join those as such. Let's go over here to this side. Now let's go to the bottom and look and see what we got going on here. Things looking okay from that end. Let's go back to perspective. Now our corners are holding. 
let's go on in here select this one this one this one this one let's get rid of them there we go that looks a lot better we have one end gone which is right at the top there and that's not hard to fix if you just want to go ahead and slice it up go ahead and go to sub D mode hit the C key And there we go. Now, as you can see, let's go ahead and subdivide it. Bam. We have a really nice union between these two pieces of geometry. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of flow there. And um, this has been the quick go through of our union Boolean exercise. So let's go ahead. Well, I wanted to go ahead and knock this out of the way since most of you are pretty familiar with it already. And we can move on to our next one. Thanks a lot. Happy modeling.